welcome Razzle Dazzlers and welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before and remember to click the little subscribe button so then you join my Razzle Dazz family and click the little bell so you'll be notified of all my big jazz hand videos I do and it will notify you every time I update a new video so in this video I'm going to be doing like a makeup challenge video and it's called Razzle Dazz the Magic Makeup and I'm going on a spin-off from the TV programme Glow Up from bedrooms across the country Thousands of budding makeup artists sent in their fiercest glow ups. Ten of the best have been selected. This is massive! Where they take on different people and challenge them to like do new makeup and special effects on their faces. Each week they'll tackle a professional assignment. It's going to be tough. But that's the real world. Get it on. Boom, boom, boom. She has had enough. And they have to compete against each other and they have like given a time frame and a theme. To slay the all important creative brief. I want my mind blown. Good calling! So for this I've chosen my sister to take part because she already does such amazing makeup stuff and I thought it would be a good challenge for her. Hi guys, so I've been given a makeup challenge from my sister Katrina, Razzle Dazzle Them, of doing a makeup look within an hour and the theme is Pride. So obviously with Pride it's going to be very colourful, quite out there, different. I don't know if many of you know about my work on Instagram but my name on there is Vixtrix and I do a lot of illusion work, uh, futuristic, um, sometimes based my work on artists or sometimes it can be quite gory looks. Um, I'll probably say my favourite thing to do on there is probably illusion work. I probably like illusion because I like when people see my work it's not always what it seems and it's a bit of uh, trick imagery. So I was thinking maybe with this pride look I might do the same. I don't want it to be too in your face but I want it to be a slight edgy feel to it. So I've been given an hour, I think I know what I'm going to do, um, so yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, it goes to plan. We want extreme creativity, it's absolutely crucial, because we're looking for Britain's next makeup star. This is an absolute work of art. I've given her the theme of Pride and I've given her the time scale of an hour. So for this she has to make something magical in that time of an hour and it to be on the theme of pride. So she's already done like endless different themes and stuff on her makeup stuff so go and check it out. So yeah this is her challenge and I'm so excited to see what she does with it because I don't have a clue what she's going to do. I've literally just given her this brief and she can go wild and as magic as she wants or as creepy as she wants. I don't know where she's going to go with this and then we're going to see what it looks like. Exciting! So this is the final makeup that Razzle Dazzle had set me to do. She gave me an hour to complete it and the theme was Pride. So I think I had done the theme correct. So what I started on was the colour of the stripes going right along the face. I wanted to keep them quite bold and quite thick so they stand out quite well. I then moved over to do the eyelash and the gold on the temples and the forehead and adding the shimmer 
And I've done a little bit on the ear there, which hopefully will come out in the photo, which I'm sure Kate will share. I then heated up some 3D moulding gel to go along the line here, so let it drip down. It's to sort of show um, it's your, your skin going over the colour, so your colour within you, being pride, is shining through. I then added the colour just on the hairline here because I can't stand with makeup if you just stop. It just gives a very blunt, fake finish and I, I don't like it. I like to sort of finish off my colour. Now I remember as well in college, my teacher used to always say, when you're doing makeup, don't forget the ears. There's nothing worse than when you do a makeup and someone just stops on the ears or they, they partly do it and it just it, it doesn't look that great. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. So what I've done just before I started, I worked out in my head, I was gonna give myself half an hour to do the colors on the face. Then I gave myself about 10 minutes to do the gold, the eyelashes and the shimmer. Then for about 20 minutes left, I then heated up the 3D gel, uh, let it heat up probably in the pot for about five minutes because you I have to let it get really runny, otherwise it's just too thick and it won't come out. Um, yeah, so I put it on, just let it run down, and now it's actually set. Um, so it's really set on my face. I'm not really sure how this is going to come off, but we'll figure that out. Uh, little bits of it has already started to come off, because I mean, I've been taking photographs. But overall, I'm quite happy with it. I think I remember Kate saying she wanted something quite not too out there, so she can give it a go. I think I've gone a bit over the top. I can't really see her giving this a go, but you never know. So yeah, hope you guys like it and thank you for watching. Ding dong, marvelous. Ding dong and thank you, thank you, thank you. Ding dong. Ding dong, darling, ding dong. Ding dong, darling, you nailed it! Ding dong. <laughs> Ding dong, darling, you did it! You did it!